Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with a quick news update, Atlanta Falcons news update, man. I think you guys will find this interesting. Um, there are some people that are really into this, and others, like myself, are not really convinced. Um, but according to Jeff Schultz, ESPN com uh, commentator and former Washington and Philadelphia Pro Personnel Director Lewis Riddick is among the list of candidates for the Atlanta Falcons GM job. According to sources, Riddick, who played for the Falcons in 92 and 96, has interviewed for other jobs in the past. And look, man, I'm just going to be honest. Um, this is just... Uh, I'm just not one of those people who's just who's buying this. I don't think this is a good idea. Um, quite frankly, anybody that's for ESPN, man, I'm I'm just gonna say it. Anybody for ESPN, you know, for me personally, outside of Rex Ryan, has absolutely no no reason to be um, considered as a GM job. All right, we're talking about a GM job. Rex Ryan is a guy. That is proof. You've seen his resume. You've seen what he's been able to do on the defensive side of, uh, of the ball. Uh, Lewis Riddick, um, he's had jobs here. Um, he's had a job in uh, Washington. Um, some of the list of players that he brought in was Carlos Rogers. Um, a okay DB. Um, wasn't necessarily spectacular. Jason Campbell was an okay um, below average quarterback. Santana Moss was a pretty good uh, receiver, not really explosive. Casey Rayback, um, Rocky Mocket McIntosh, uh, Antoine Randall, Andre Carter, TJ Duckett, Laurent Landry, um, London Fletcher, Fred Smoot. Um, okay, he's had a pretty good resume. Um, nothing that really blows you out of, um, this just blows anything out of, out of the question like this, this doesn't blow anybody's mind this is a pretty good um this is a pretty good <sighs> roster all right this is just a resume for him this is what the philadelphia eagles man uh, deshaun watson was a damn good pick um deshaun jackson is a damn good pick asante samuel very good pick uh chris clemens uh, jeremy macklin um Hey, I don't really think he was a good, great pick, but it was an okay pick. LaShawn McCoy speaks for itself. Jason Peters speaks for itself. Michael Vick, of course. And I think this is one of the main reasons why people want, all right, want Lewis Riddick in the uh, in Atlanta because of a mobile quarterback. You know, his ties to Michael Vick bringing him into the Philadelphia um, Eagles team. And, you know, on one hand, he make a, a quote unquote. This is quote unquote called a dream team, and I'm just gonna be honest, man. That's all cool and all, but if this team doesn't have chemistry, you can bring in all the players all you want. But when it all comes down to, man, it comes down to coaching. Um, it's just my personal opinion. Brandon Graham was a, a good. Kurt Coleman, um, Jason Kelsey, uh, J Jason Babin, Fletcher Cox, Michael Kendricks. Nick Foles, Lane Johnson, Zach Ertz. Look, this is a pretty good roster. I can't hate. Um, but when it comes down to it, man, it has to be more than just that, man. Um, just look at the records for these two teams, 24 and 24. And it's time uh, with the Washington football team, 24 and 24. All right, it's best season with 10 and 6. Lost in the first uh, in the divisional round. Um, eight Pro Bowlers, Philadelphia Eagles team. He left before the start of the season. Uh, the record was 31, uh, 33 and 31. Um, the best season was 11-5 and lost in the wildcard team. 16 Pro Bowlers. So he had all these wonderful players. He had all these wonderful players, and he quite frankly did not um, achieve much. That Philadelphia Eagles team and that Washington football team just did not uh, perform well so i'm just going to give my short opinion on this and just come all down to it this guy was just an overachiever i don't think he's worth bringing in atlanta um just with the culture i know a lot of people really trying to uh you know push this narrative of having not only a black head coach but a black gm and that's all good 
um, but I want the proper guy. I want the right guy. I don't give a care if he's white. I don't give a ding if he's Asian, black. It doesn't matter. I want the proper guy. I could care less what he looks like. This guy has to be the right one. He has to bring in, they have to not only bring in the proper coach, the proper players, but all this team has to work well together. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think about this, man. Um, because this is an important, important hire. And for me, I don't want anybody from ESPN. ESPN is a part of the national media. And for me personally, man, I think we'll be out here making moves just for uh, ratings sake, all right? ESPN is all about the ratings and bringing in the guy like Lewis Riddick, they will jump on board. And I'm just gonna be honest, man, I don't give a dang about ESPN. They want guys that they can promote and they will definitely jump behind Lewis Riddick. That's just my opinion. I wanna know what you guys think, man, because like I said, I'm not in, and in, in like, I'm not really into the, all of this nonsense about bringing a guy in because of such and such all right his ties to espn because we can get better ratings and be on monday night tv and all this type of stuff like that's all cute and all but at the end of the day i want the right coach i want the right gm and i want a team that's gonna play hard and play well all right so let me know what you guys think about this lewis riddick is being mentioned not only for the atlanta falcons but this is something um if you guys did not know as well he's been interviewed um by the 49ers the 49ers so right now don't put a lot of stock into what these guys are like and guys are being interviewed i think a lot of people have been interviewed right now but at this point in time man it's all speculation it's all he say she say until we really um get down to the end of the season and we start to see guys like adam Schefter being um you know coming out and confirming a lot of stuff for me personally there's only two people i really care um care to hear about as far as the GM and the coaching hiring for the Atlanta Falcons and that's Adam Schefter and Ian Rappaport so if it's not coming from them I don't buy it let me know what you guys think about this continue to support your boy here at Mad Mike Sports Atlanta Falcons Nation if you guys have not checked that channel out as well please check it out man we have so many guys and so many perspectives uh, on that channel man uh, not only myself but Miss Maggie go ahead and get her a follow um, Big Low Country Terror Artist 404 K Styles, all the man's, all, all the all the all the creators. So continue to support your boy here at Mad Mike Sports. We're trying to get to a thousand on Atlanta Falcons Nation. You guys absolutely rock. All right, and I mean that with all my heart. Continue to support your boy here at Mad Mike Sports. Atlanta Falcons news update for all you guys, and I'm gone, baby. Peace.